Best enjoy them. Hmm. Things haven't been great with me and the missus. We haven't had sex for a year and a half. Anthony, I don't care. It's a sickness, but I it. I can't help it. It's like diabetes. Then maybe you should stop putting your dick in so many cakes then. You're a very cold woman, you know. I'm not going to feel sorry for you because you cheated on your wife. I'm a decent bloke, okay? Yeah, I've messed around a little bit, but who hasn't? I don't deserve to be crucified for it. Seriously, this shit is terrifying. Everybody's got a story nowadays. Everyone. I've got friends that will never, ever work again because some disgruntled one-night stand has pointed the finger at them. And it goes both ways. I've had to deal with my fair share of clumsy passes from drunken women. They follow me down to the toilet, they grab my ass. Well, you don't see me calling Rupert Murdoch, do you? You done? I'm just saying, if I were a woman, we wouldn't be having this conversation. What's the difference? I would say the main difference is that you haven't been told since you were 11 that every male you encounter has the potential to rape and murder you, followed by a life of pre-sexualization, catcalling and slut-shaming that fills you with so much guilt and fear that when you're 16 and some kid starts choking you during sex, either with his hands or with his penis, because he saw it in a bunch of porn, you assume it must be you who got it wrong. So every time there's an inappropriate comment or a hand on your thigh, you swallow it. Until one day the world says, hey, actually, maybe all that crap isn't your fault. And the relief is so great that shit just pours out of you like a tsunami. And yes, like most tsunamis, innocent people drown. But I am sorry that you've had to deal with women you didn't deem attractive enough grabbing your ass. I appreciate that life has its challenges. <laughs>